The Biden administration announced the U.S. will begin air dropping aid to Gaza in the coming days to improve the conditions for Palestinians amid Hamas' ongoing conflict with Israel. News that comes as a ceasefire agreement becomes seemingly less likely to occur soon. Aid flowing to Gaza is nowhere nearly enough, Biden said Friday when announcing the aid. I won't stand by. We won't let up. We're going to pull out every stop we can to get more assistance in. Scott Paul, Associate Director of Peace and Security at Oxfam America, said in a post on X the Human Rights Group doesn't support the drops, which he argued, would mostly serve to relieve the guilty consciences of senior U.S. officials whose policies are contributing to the ongoing atrocities and risk of famine in Gaza. He suggested the U.S. instead, cut the flow of weapons to Israel, and push for an immediate ceasefire, 576,000. That's how many people in Gaza, about one quarter of the population, were, one step away from famine, as of Tuesday, according to the United Nations. News of the U.S. air dropping aid into Gaza comes as negotiators for Egypt, the U.S. and Qatar work on the terms of another ceasefire that could involve the release of hostages held by Hamas, though a deal has proven elusive so far. Officials from the World Health Organization said Friday that Gaza's health care system is on its knees, after months of intense fighting, saying food supplies were cut off deliberately, and all lifelines have more or less been cut, too, NBC News reported. On Thursday, Gaza health officials said more than 100 Palestinians were killed while waiting for aid after the Israel Defense Forces began firing. The IDF says people were injured by trampling and run over by aid trucks and the firing only began after Gazans approached Israeli tanks, but Palestinian officials say IDF gunfire caused the deadly incident. Since Hamas' attack on Israel on October 7, 2023, the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry estimates more than 30,000 Palestinians have been killed and more than 70,000 injured. Some 1,200 people in Israel were killed by Hamas, and around 240 hostages were taken from southern Israel to Gaza. Israel has faced growing international pressure over the war. South Africa alleged at the International Court of Justice that Israel's war in Gaza qualifies as a genocide, which Israel has denied, and many United Nations members have pushed for an immediate ceasefire, though the United States vetoed a UN Security Council ceasefire resolution. White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby said this week the U.S. wants to get hostages, out as soon as possible, and White House Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre said Biden and the administration have been working, 24-7 to get that done.